What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. We are here for another Mama Still Got It, episode number two, featuring Christina Kelly. Yes, we all know her from Vanderpump Rules. Now, Christina Kelly has been a part of the show since the very start. She's kind of faded out a little bit. She was never really a main character, but she was always there for the support of her friends. And she also worked at Sir as well. Now, last we had seen of Christina was in season 10, where she was going on all the girl trips, she was having fun in Mexico with Katie for the moral support of Sheena's wedding and all of that great stuff. What we didn't know that while they were filming and we kept seeing her order water, water, water with lime, all of that, she was actually pregnant. So our girl Christina has since given birth to a beautiful baby boy, River, and she is a wonderful mother, and the baby is just the most adorable thing ever, and I'm so happy for her, and I'm happy that she is this week's guest with Lala. So, everybody, make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done so, and put those notifications on to all. Let's not waste any time. Let's get right into Mama Still Got It, Episode 2. Hey, my loves, it's Lala Kent. You better recognize. I am so excited to invite you guys on a truly special journey as I prepare to welcome my second daughter, Baby S. I do feel like hot pregnant. Oh yeah, I look hella good. I'm so grateful for the incredible support system from my friends and my family, and of course, all of you. Together, we'll be going deep on what it means to be a mom. I just have like an overwhelming amount of gratitude, hence why I start sobbing, because I don't quite know how to process it. Prioritizing wellness. Be present. Be in the moment. You're not going to be able to have a second baby again. Self-care. Gwyneth Paltrow taught us about this. This is the dry brush. Fitness. There's no engaging <laughs> the core right now, babe. <laughs> and much more. We will find you somebody. You can be my wing woman. This is a side of my life that I've never really been able to share before on camera until right now. Oh my god, your lips are like four times the size of mine. Like, I'm so jealous. Well, they're not real. I can't wait to share this adventure with you. And best believe, Mama still got it. Welcome to my brand new Amazon Live series, Mama Still Got It. We all know I am a beauty girl. I love experimenting with new makeup products and trends. But since I'm pregnant, it's even more important to make sure that the things I'm putting on my skin and on my body are best for me and best for baby. To help me with a clean beauty routine, I couldn't think of anyone better than the creator and founder of a skincare line that I'm obsessed with called HeartSpring. She's a model, she's a mama, and she's a dear friend of mine, Christina Kelly. <laughs> The crowd goes wild. <laughs> Hi, oh, babe. I love you. I'm so happy you could do I'm this. I'm excited to be here. This is so fun. Welcome. Yeah. I can't wait for you to glam me in probably the most minimal glam I have I'll been looking forward have. to this since I've met you, to glam you. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> did you hit my jewelry bar? Yeah, I did. You did? I did. What did you pick? These cute little hoops. How cute are these? I love them. Right? And yes. I'm like a delicate jewelry kind of girl. So. Right. I did this little guy here. So cute. These are mine, and I just think it matches it so nice. Right? No, I love and it. And I love gold. For you guys at home, if you want to accessorize from where you're sitting, I have linked all of these pieces for easy shopping. If you're watching on the Amazon Live channel on your TV, you can shop right from your phone by opening your Amazon shopping app and typing shop the show in the search bar. I wanted you to be my guest today because number one, I love you. You're one of my dearest friends. When you were pregnant, do you remember me harassing you daily? Well, you checked in like daily and it was just really sweet. It was almost as if you were pregnant, like you were really, was... did you cry? I can't yes. remember at dinner when I, yeah. Yeah. I'm a crier. Yeah. I cry about everything. I was so excited for you to just experience all of it. And I knew that like you and Max were just so perfect together and just like you creating a family. It really, it just took me back to when I found out I was pregnant with Ocean. I wanted to be a mom like forever. It was all meant to yeah. be. Can you do two things at once? We'll find out. Okay. <laughs> Because <laughs> I am on camera right now, and I'd like to look a little better than I look right now. <laughs> so you make me pretty, and I'll ask you all the questions that yeah. I have. Okay, so these, I just want to, these are my essential go-to, like, for a quick makeup, but not, this is my makeup, no makeup look. Oh, I love that. I love kind a makeup, of my vibe no makeup. in general. Ilya, do you know this brand? Yes, love oh, it. Amazing. So this is like a tinted serum, so it's actually good for your skin, has SPF, but also gives you a little bit of coverage. This is the color that I like. I think this would be good to shoot for you. Okay. Okay, we're going to do a little, do, 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 do. I feel like you're so good at, like, the natural beauty look i don't use a lot of products so what little products i do use i want them to be really really good for my skin but also like and like no cruelty all this like i want to know what's in it right 
Did your did your face change? Like, were you really into a certain look, and then when you were pregnant, you well, were... my lips got massive, which was <gasps> really fun. That is so yeah. Fun. They got really big. I was like, ooh. Are your lips injected normally? No. So they just, can I tell you? I knew, do not inject your lips before you get pregnant with baby number two because I got injected with Ocean before. And, and I looked like massive. I got stung by a bee. You are you can't see right now, but you're like glowing. Like Are this, you joking? This looks like, it's <gasps> like, um, it's just. Like I look dewy and yes, stuff? Yes, like you just look like a stick of butter. Oh. I know. I always want to look like know, a stick know, of butter. I, know, I want to smell like okay, a melted stick so of butter also, too. Okay, so also something I do is I put this on first, then I do concealer. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's like a big no-no, but it's just what I do. When you were pregnant with the river, like what would you say made you feel the hottest? Like still feeling like, okay, I've got it. I'm not some frump. I love being pregnant though. Sorry, okay. don't come for me. No, but, that's fine. So I, there what I loved, I loved every second of it. So I, if anything, I think I felt more confident and more like, I don't know, powerful when I was pregnant than now. Really? Yeah. After I had River, things started to dip, hormones, everything. And I was like, okay, I need to feel better. So I was getting my hair done, trying to take time to like get my nails done. I would give myself like one task so that it would feel like, oh, well, I accomplished that. Was it more about getting out of the house or did it make you both. feel? Okay. Both, both, both. How are you feeling? I feel like you're kind of similar to me with pregnancy. Like you love it, right? I love it. This pregnancy has like taken more of a physical toll on me, but I do That's feel right. like hot pregnant. Yeah. You know? That's how I felt. I mean, I walked around and I was like, wow, like I'm growing a baby. I just felt powerful. I felt like I could do anything. Like I have a baby inside of me that's growing. Yeah, like creating a brain. Like, and like a chamber. Try to one up me on that. No, <laughs> right? Right. I'm what gonna go that? in with this CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. Okay. So this is a powder. Sometimes I'll go between using powders and then a stick and a pen. I have all of it, but a powder, if this is like a quick makeup thing. So we just did this like dewy serum, a yeah. little bit of concealer, and then I'll go in with this powder just because I feel like it's just easier than okay. actually doing each line. When I have time, I'll do it. Okay. But this, you can just kind of go in and fill in the little spots, which you have like perfect eyebrows. So well, like... they're not real. I have them what? microbladed. Okay. Well, we're just gonna fill in a tiny bit of, I mean, do you need a brush? non-existent space. No. No, but I, I have to still do my brows. You do? Yeah. They look pretty perfect, but we'll try to make them even more perfect. I like my brows to be like pretty prominent. This color actually matches pretty well, which is a big deal with brows. You wanna make sure they're not like too dark, too dark. Mm -hmm. or too light, because then it just looks a bit crazy. Also what I'll do, if I only have a certain amount of products, I'll use this as like a little bit of eyeshadow. Yeah. So like I'll go in, I don't have mascara on, so if you need to do that, do your thing. Like, you can look up, and then I'll... I'll Make me just, look like I have eyes. Just drag it underneath a little bit. So, this is my holy grail. So, Riv is... How old now? I'm bad at math. He's 15 months, so he just turned a year. Okay. Yeah. When you're putting... I don't know, I mean, if you know this, but any little tip, is I always do my blush, like, super high. Never want to do it down in like here, you right? Want to, like lift, so everything goes here, and I love to do a little like sun oh, kiss like, nose. Yeah. I mean, I could put this everywhere. Yeah, I love to yeah, do a little here, everywhere. Like if you were at the beach, like this is where the sun hit me. <gasps> yes. And I even go in with more. Let's see how that looks. Oh, I love to look like yeah. I belong in the Twilight series. We're gonna use <laughs> another blender for this because okay. everything I do, I want to just look like dewy, glowy, and I just came from the beach. And you really can do this in like five minutes. I already feel like I'm coming to life. So this is kind of bougie and this is super affordable. I love, I love Elf. both. So it's like, if you really, I mean, if you really can get this one, but if you can't, this is just as good. Okay, I love yeah. that. I love an alternative. And I like mixing my blushes. Give me like a little smile. I wanna see like the balls of your cheeks. We're gonna do this here. Can I tell you what just popped into my head? I remember Ocean was super, super tiny. So like, she, like she was sturdy and stable enough to like put her in one of those like stationary standing play toys, you know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. And because she couldn't touch the bottom yet, I had put books underneath and she was like having a heyday bouncing her feet. I walk over to check on her and she was getting paper cuts on her toes from the books that I had used to like, Oh. Yeah. It was a huge mom I let fail. River crawl outside on the grass and I was like, look how cute, he's having so much fun. And then when he came back in, he got cut his feet, all the bottoms of his like feet from crawling all had like grass, like blade cuts on them. Yeah. And I was like, I didn't know. I thought grass was soft. Like, I didn't even think that it was like cutting him this whole time. Yeah. Girl, I have like a whole book of mom fails. I feel like everybody does. And if there's anyone out there who's like, I don't, it's like, you're lying. You're lying to yourself. Or you're way too protective of your kid and you turn them into like a bubble child, which I do have some friends who are super, super protective as moms, which totally fine. I'm, 
but I'm like, wow, like wrap them in, you know. Okay. I have a boy though. <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> I have a boy. So it's like impossible. I feel like just keeping him alive is going to be an accomplishment because he right now <laughs> is like trying to, I'll turn for a second and turn around. And he's like pulled out the kitchen drawer, took everything out and he's like sitting inside of it and then holding the next one and like pulling himself back and forth. And I'm like, get down. Or he's climbing up on stuff. I mean, he's go, go, go. I love him so much. I wouldn't want it any other way. Did you ever picture yourself as a boy mom? Yeah. I, you did? I, if I could pick gender, if they were like, you could only have one, pick a gender, I would have been a boy. Like, really? No brainer. Yeah. Yeah. See, that but was me until I had a girl. Surfing, we have, we go to the beach every day. Like we're, we're really active. Like to me, it just made sense when I envisioned like life, it was a little boy. Okay. So this is the Anastasia in, what color is this? I think this, is this the rosewood? This is mm. the rosewood. So this is just. Like a mauve -y. It's kind of like your natural color lip or it ha what your natural color lip should be like. Yeah, that's my favorite. They always say your nibble is your natural color lip. Oh. Yeah. Should we come, should we see? Just kidding. <laughs> you should know. <laughs> come on, come on, get one out. Let's see, color match. Come on. You're like, this is Pantone 45. <laughs> okay, so I really, I mean, your lips, you have such like good lips. So you don't have to do much with this. I already feel just with you doing the lip, like I feel more like myself. Okay, this also, Rare Beauty. This is shade. Rare oh. Beauty, isn't that Selena Gomez's? Yes. Okay, I'm into it. Yes, and they, Amazon has all of this, which is like so impressive that they have all these amazing brands. I'm gonna really dip, give it a good dip. Oh my God, your lips are like four times the size of mine. Like I'm so jealous. This is what mine looked like when I was pregnant. Well, they're not real. Okay, our last thing that we're gonna do is a little mascara moment. This is Lash Princess False Lash Effect. Okay. You do like just a very down just a little. Yeah, there you go. Minimal glam look most of the time. Are you always a fan of doing upper and lower lash? I don't do lower lash. Oh, okay. But you have lighter lashes than me. Yeah, so... because you look like you have la like mascara. Yeah. I and one of the main reasons why I don't do lower is because I feel like sometimes my mascara because I wear the dewier mm, makeup. Leaves the stuff. Yeah, it'll leave black marks. And that's like my biggest fear because I would never know So I'm walking around. And like, I already feel like that's my main is dark circle. So mm. then that adds to it. And right. I'm like, I look like a raccoon and I'm walking around. So that's the one main reason why. So I'm gonna go in with this. Perfect. And let me do the other side quick. And then I'll show you kind of what I do with the second mascara. I never thought I was good at doing like other people's makeup, you know, when mm -hmm. you're using your hand differently. Well, you should see like how I'm using my hand to put this mascara on. Okay, and then CoverGirl Cleantopia. Love it. Okay, this one I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna do it on your edges to give you a little more like- Like lift, like, like a little cat. Bit of cat eye. I'll like build up more on the ends here. And then that's basically it. You're done. You didn't use like a whole lot. I love this. Yeah, it's literally like one, two, three. Oh yeah, I look hella good. Five products. And you're right. Little, like I literally could- It's just a bit glow. It no, doesn't, I love you know, this. It's minimal. No, I'm not mad at all. And I usually let a no one touch my face. There you go. Five Christina Kelly, you get an A plus. You guys, I do feel, I do feel dewy. You look great, honey. So as both of us know, when it comes to motherhood or pregnancy, there is no shortage of advice, old wives tales and superstitions. Everyone seems to feel the need to give you advice when you did not even ask for it. So I'm going to pose some of these and you're gonna tell me your thoughts. Okay. These are like some superstitions, old wives okay. tales. Girls steal a mother's beauty. You better say that's not true. Um, no, false. Okay, true. good. Yeah. You shouldn't color your hair while you're pregnant. I uh, disagree with that. You disagree? Yeah. With Ocean, I did not color my hair. I think back in the day, that was uh, there was a big issue. I don't know if people were getting like more perms back then and the chemicals were just a bit more tense, but mm -hmm. now, I mean, the products I use, like everything's fine. My my doctor, our doctor, yeah. said it was fine. I'm doing so many things this pregnancy that I would Are not you? have done with Ocean. Well, no. yeah, the first time around too, you're just like super nervous and everything's like, I mean, it's not worth it. That's what I would tell myself. But now I'm like, we can have like a cup of coffee. Oh, I had coffee. Maybe a cup oh, and a half. Yeah, no, I had coffee. I didn't give up coffee. Yeah, no. And when I would order coffee though, like I'd yeah. walk up when I was bumping and like I'd come up and like, can I do, you know, a vanilla latte or whatever it was I was having. Would you get judgy eyes? Once. Where were she you? Said, oh, once, she said, once, she said, you mean decaf? Was she working there? Yeah, she was behind the counter. I ordered with her. And what'd you say? Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> you know, you're like, like uh-huh. <laughs> and in that moment, I was like, oh my God, I'm being judged, I'm being judged. And I just went, yeah, decaf. You were mom and coffee shamed. And I walked out and I was like, I didn't even want a decaf coffee. I wanted caffeine. But like in that moment, it just was like, yeah, I meant decaf. Ew. Yeah. I don't like that girl. Yeah. Okay, speaking of taking or not taking advice, 
we are going to play a game called Take It or Leave It. Christina has brought an unconventional product she used to solve a problem while she was pregnant or in early motherhood. And based on her hard sell, I will decide if I'm going to take it or if I'm going to leave it. What did you bring? You're going to take it. I mean, <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm I are, <laughs> just by the look of it, I'm taking it. Dude, this bad boy. I mean, is this a pregnancy? Do pillow? I need to say more? What is this? This is a pregnancy pillow. Okay, I have to say. Okay, this you can lay underneath, on your, your side, or you your wrap, back. Or yes, anything. you have many options with that piece. And this, I mean, just take a cozy. Get in there. Get in there. You Feel that it. against your belly. This is what I like to okay. do. Okay. Yep. Yep. You can wrap it. Look at it. You can wrap it however oh, yeah. you want. Some of the pregnancy pillows are just straight. Mm -hmm. They're very restrictive. How do you know my body? How do you know my belly? How do you know how I want to sleep? You can flex this thing, wrap this thing. This I'm, I'm taking. This I would definitely take. Also I feel it. No, it's so yummy. I know. Fun fact, I still may or may not use it. sleep with it. Wait, really? Max is like, oh my God. If we, we get, get it, it out of the bed? It's a third person in our bed. You know what though? I have to say <laughs> this one is amazing and much smaller. Granted, I don't have a husband. Mine is massive. It's bigger than this? Oh. Well, you don't need it. This is this like is literally. All you need. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm like, I should have. You should have like told me about yeah. this. No, it's great. Few months it ago, zips off. You can wash it. You can I wash. mean, it's the selling point is this because if you can't lay directly on your back mm -hmm. when you're pregnant, mm -hmm. and my back is killing me, but then when I sleep on my side, there's too much pressure on my rib cage and on the on my back. Uh -huh. So this gives you, you like it. the little yeah. prop. Yeah. Christina. I know. I know. All right, this one I'm definitely taking. There's no other way to end my show than to end it with a snack because mama still got it, but she still got to eat. So I asked you what your pregnancy craving was. I'm a little nervous because she's a health nut. I'm expecting like a plate of kale, which is fine. Um, but <laughs> what did you bring for me to eat? It's not kale. Okay. Okay. It is a peanut butter bacon honey sandwich. I'm kind of disgustingly into it. I was too when I was pregnant. You freaking came through, girl. So, this is so good. Not kale, okay? I for Thank sure thought. I was like, she's giving much. me roughage. Is no, that what it's called? No, when I, when I was <laughs> pregnant, I was getting down. <laughs> that is hella good. Thank you guys so much for joining us for this episode of Mama Still Got It, Prepping for Baby. We will see you guys next time. So what did you guys think about this episode? I love Christina Kelly. She is best known as the lip balm queen, but I do agree that she is just a natural beauty and has a killer natural beauty look to her, which she is a skin care company owner for Heart Spring, which is an all natural and all that good stuff for your beauty routine. I do have her lip balm, but she also has body scrubs, all natural soaps, fresh mist, and so much more. So check her links out down below. I don't know about you, but I've been such on a mist kick, I think because of the summer. It just feels so good, refreshing, and you're ready to go. I feel like me and Christina have a lot of things in common. I love all natural ingredients and products and all that good stuff. Now, after I became a cat mom and became overly protective of my kitty and worried about things that possibly could harm her, I found a company that helps me with everything that I possibly can think of and more. This company is great for all moms of all types. It's called Grove.co. Grove is a website that offers all different brands and companies that offers eco-friendly and plastic neutral products for your home, personal care, wellness, and even pet products as well. Their company's impact has saved over 15 plus million pounds of plastic just by their impact on trying to make a better economy for us all. This not only benefits you and your family, but also our wonderful world we all live on together. Now, you already might be familiar with some brands that they have on their website. Some of my faves are Miss Myers, Honeypot, Method, and they have so many other brands 
including their own company brand, Grove, which they have amazing products as well that are now also providing you with amazing products by their brand. And here's a little fun tip for you. If you love Miss Meyer products like I do, they have exclusive scents just for Grove. So make sure to click the referral link down below in the description to get 30% off your first order. I do also know that they have free kits available for your first order of $30 or more just by signing up on their website. So check them out. But another thing I feel like I have in common with Christina is I totally want to be a boy mom. I've always pictured myself having a boy even before my boyfriend was in the picture. It's just something that I can totally see myself having. Though I will say the female to male ratio in our both of our families is a very slim chance. There are so many girls in our family that a boy would be good luck for sure. <laughs> But I would just love to have a boy to pass my boyfriend's last name down since he is the last one with that last name. And, well, his dad is no longer with us and he was his dad's only child. And I will say, if we do have a boy, he will definitely be a junior. Now, Jake isn't a junior. He does have the same first name as his dad, but Jake is not his real name. And a lot of people don't realize that he actually goes by his middle name. But I love his real name and his middle name that if we do have a boy, it would be a wonderful addition to be a junior. And I actually have a funny little story time for you guys, which if you are ready for more story times and just everyday chit chat fun, make sure you are subscribed because I am starting a new series here on my channel where we all will get to chit chat, have some fun together. So stay tuned for that and make sure you are subscribed with your notifications set to all. But my quick story time is how I tricked my parents into thinking back in the way days that I was dating someone different, though it was technically the same guy. Now, Jake and I had gotten together after I had split from my ex, so my parents weren't too happy that I was already seeing somebody new, so that kind of put like a bad taste in their mouth, and it didn't last too long, and everything happens for a reason in life. We later did get back together, and I had used his first name to my parents so that they would think that I was dating somebody new. He had never actually come over to meet them or anything like that, so they didn't realize it. Now, all of these years later, we are still together, and my family and I couldn't love him more. And of course, it's something that we all laugh about now, but that's just my little quick story time. Stay tuned, like I said, for my new series that's coming here on my channel. But I enjoyed this episode with Christina Kelly, and I know that I didn't talk very much about her because we all really know her. And I really hope that our girl, Christina, can come back for season 12, which if you haven't heard the news, they are supposedly going to be filming in October for a farewell season, and then VPR will be rebooted. Now, this is all according to Bravo Babe and my girl with the deets, Steph. So here is a quick video from her explaining it all. And I will leave her IG down below along with all of Christina's page links to her business, to her IG, and all of that. So stay tuned for this short video on season 12. But I'm out of here and I hope you all enjoyed this episode. And I will see you again soon for much more here on my channel. Bye everyone. We've got some alleged Vanderpump Rules season 12 tea. So Bravo Babe, who posts all things Bravo and most likely has some connections into the Bravo world, said, I'm hearing that filming with most of the core cast will start in October for a final farewell season. Allegedly, VPR will be getting a total reboot after that. They are already looking at employees at TomTom Tom and Sir. 
Here's my opinion on this, if it is true. I honestly don't even know why we're getting a farewell season. It should be like a farewell episode that like then goes into the new generation of inappropriate rules. Because like, what are they going to give us for a season? Most of these people are not even friends. The only person that Lala, sorry, Lauren from Utah is friends with is Sheena. Katie and Ariana are like besties. They Sheena is friends with like everyone except Katie and Ariana. The only person that I would consider a friend to Tom Sandoval is Tom Schwartz. Just like this photo, like, this group is broken. Like, giving us a season is going to be, like, the same as last season, and I don't care to watch it. And when the Bravo Babe said most of the core cast, meaning that someone or maybe some people aren't coming back, my guess would be Ariana Maddox, honestly, because she does not need the show. And the producers tried to villainize her last season, and she is fully aware of that. And if Ariana doesn't come back, I really don't see Katie Maloney coming back. But if Ariana and Katie don't come back, who the heck's gonna watch this season? Not me. Feeling jaded, I'm feeling